In this video, we'll reveal 16 actors who ruined their career in seconds. Megan Fox Megan Fox had been flying under the radar for a while until her appearance and performance in Transformers 2007 made her a global superstar. Endorsements and movie roles poured in by the shipload, and the press fawned over her. But the job offers and her career came to a screeching halt when, during a 2009 interview for a British magazine called Wonderland, she was asked what working with director Michael Bay was like. Rather than offer a canned or flattering answer, Fox directly compared the famous director to Hitler and Napoleon. According to her, Bay is like Napoleon, and he wants to create this insane, infamous madman reputation. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is, so he's a nightmare to work for. But when you get him away from set, he's not in director mode. I kind of really enjoy his personality because he's so awkward, so hopelessly awkward. He has no social skills at all, and it's endearing to watch him. Not done, she also trashed the Transformers franchise that had brought her global fame and filled up her bank account. The fallout was swift, and while Michael Bay was willing to overlook what just happened, his boss and the Transformers franchise executive producer, who happened to be Michael Spielberg, wasn't that forgiving, and compelled Bay to kick Megan Fox out of the third Transformers movie and the Transformers franchise. She also gained a reputation as being difficult to work with, and a few crew members who had been with her on the second Transformers movie subsequently released a statement saying she was dumb as a rock thankless, classless, graceless, and never smiles, and very likely to end up as a star. Be sure to stick to the end to see the actor who ruined his career in minutes after admitting he had sexual relations with multiple underage girls. If you thought the Megan Fox story was crazy, wait till you hear this next one, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. Jennifer Grey some movies perfectly encapsulate the feel of the 80s, and Dirty Dancing is one of them. Jennifer Grey's sublime performance in that movie, opposite Patrick Swayze, catapulted her into the movie superstar rank, with her talents being lauded with a Golden Globe nomination. Then, in the early 90s, Jennifer Grey opted to do something that would remove her distinguishing feature and make her unrecognizable to most fans and even close friends. She had a less than perfect nose, and was told by her mom and others that fixing it would get her more roles and make her as perfect as most other Hollywood actresses. And so, she got two rhinoplasties, with the second operation being required to fix the imperfect results of the first. The impact of the surgical procedures was less than stellar, and according to Jennifer, she ensured the loss of her identity and career, while making her the punchline of many jokes. The very ill-advised nose jobs and the fallout from a near-fatal car accident in Northern Ireland led to a very speedy career decline that the 62-year-old has been unable to recover from. Michael Richards Alex Trebek hosted Jeopardy for a very incredible 37 seasons, and once he had gone the way of all mortals, precious few could be found to satisfactorily fill his oversized shoes. Eventually, the job was handed to Michael Richards, only for him to be kicked out within a week. This came about because of the unveiling of the offensive, racist, and sexist comments he had made many years ago on The Random Show, as well as the sexual harassment and wrongful termination suits filed by various models when he was the executive producer of The Price is Right. In the latter show, he referred to a co-host as a booth h boothstitute, and booth and said her friends look fat and not good. Mike also asserted that on Halloween it was common for women to dress like hers, while Mike Richards wasted no time apologizing for everything and asserting that his past comments were a terribly embarrassing misjudgment and did not reflect the reality of who I am, that failed to save him from getting axed as Jeopardy's host and executive producer. Will Smith While the 94th Academy Awards was in full swing, host Chris Rock made a couple of jokes that were directed at Will Smith's wife. Smith initially laughed at these jokes, but then suddenly walked to the stage and gave Chris Rock a hard slap. 
with a picture of this event taken by photojournalist Brian Snyder instantly acquiring an iconic status and being immediately recognizable by most of the global populace. While Will Smith tendered an apology for his conduct, during his tearful and lengthy acceptance speech for the Best Actor Oscar win, he allegedly failed to leave the event when asked to by the event organizers and failed to offer any apology to the man he had assaulted on camera, though he was to rectify this later on. He also resigned from his Academy membership and a few days later was banned from Academy events for a decade. Chris Rock has repeatedly declined to press charges and Will Smith has had movie projects delayed, but that is nothing compared to how often and savagely he gets roasted by comedians these days. Thomas Gibson For a dozen years, Thomas Gibson was a big shot on Criminal Minds and directed six episodes of the show. The actor played the role of an FBI special agent with a family he loves and seeks to protect from all sorts of deranged, perverted, and criminal minds. On August 11, 2016, Gibson was suspended from the TV series, which was then in its 12th season. The reason for the suspension was that during a heated argument over creative differences with a writer-producer, he petulantly kicked the guy and was initially suspended for two episodes. Later though, ABC Studios and CBS Studios, who were the show's producers and distributors, announced he was being let go, and in subsequent episodes of Criminal Minds, his character's absence was explained away as his deciding to join the Witness Protection Program and focus on being a father. Before launching the kick that kicked him out of Criminal Minds, Gibson had earlier pushed an executive director of the show and as a result of that had been made to sit through anger management classes. Brandy Brandy Norwood needs no introduction. She's in this video because on December 20, 2006, while approaching a traffic jam at 65 miles per hour, her Land Rover plowed into a Toyota on the 405 freeway in Los Angeles with the four-car accident that subsequently resulted in the death of a 38-year-old lady. The accident reportedly made her so tearful and hysterical that she twice walked back and forth in front of oncoming traffic, going by at full speed. Brandy was neither cited nor arrested for the fatal car crash, but has, over the years, faced multiple lawsuits that were all settled out of court for hundreds of thousands of dollars. The accident permanently and negatively affected her and changed her life. She faced public criticism and attacks, thinks of and prays about the accident daily, and says she has since forged a deeper connection and relationship with the Almighty that helped her deal with the many aftermaths of the car crash. In a recent interview with Upscale Magazine, she noted that people call me a murderer. They taunt me and send me pictures of cars that are basically annihilated. While the accident does not appear to have had much impact on her career, there's little doubt that it has continued to haunt her. Jussie Smollett In the early mornings of January 29, 2019, Jussie Smollett called the cops and reported that he had been the victim of a hate crime. The Empire star said bleach had been poured on him by two males who assaulted him and shouted homophobic and racial slurs. The supposed crime ignited a media firestorm and massive police investigation. However, the police soon found that the whole thing had been staged by Jesse. He had reportedly paid $3,500 to a couple of Nigerian friends he had met on the set of Empire to beat up and abuse him, with the contrived assault being a means to get sympathetic publicity his way so that Empire could see his true worth and raise his wages. Jesse Smollett was eventually charged with disorderly conduct and the false reporting of a crime, though the charges were later dropped once his lawyers wrangled a deal that had him perform community service and give up his $10,000 bond. In February 2020, he was indicted by a Cook County grand jury on six counts, being subsequently convicted on five counts. In March of this year, Jesse Smollett was given a 150-day county jail sentence and ordered to fork over $120,106 in restitution for wasting the time of the Chicago police. An appeal has been filed and he is out on bail, but he's currently the proverbial leper that no movie studio wants to touch with a 10-foot pole. David Hasselhoff 
David first popped into the collective memory of most of us while playing the role of a doctor in The Young and the Restless. At one time, according to the Guinness World Records, he was the most watched guy on TV. On May 3, 2007, a viral video shot by one of his daughters showed a very drunk and topless David Hasselhoff messily eating a cheeseburger off the floor. According to a later explanation offered by David, he had long suffered from alcohol abuse problems and the video had been shot at his request so he could see, while sober, how reprehensively he behaved while drunk and therefore take alcohol abuse treatment more seriously. Unfortunately, the footage was stolen from a family member and leaked to YouTube. That short video did some irreparable damage to David's reputation and career. Paula Dean. Starting in 1999, the Food Network and Paula Dean had a profitable and symbiotic relationship, with her charisma and brand of hearty Southern cooking winning her legions of fans and helping Food Network reach its revenue targets. But in 2013, a former employee of the TV personality and celebrity cook filed a discrimination lawsuit that alleged that Dean was fond of using racial slurs when talking about members of the African American community. More, she and her brother were accused of committing numerous acts of racism, discrimination, and violence that forced the employee, who happened to be the former manager of a restaurant owned by Dean and her brother, to finally quit in disgust and file suit. Dean's brother was also accused of being fond of watching in the workplace. The hullabaloo that all this triggered, plus Dean's admission that she had previously used a racial slur and dreamed of hosting a plantation-style wedding full of fine food and uniformed but ostensibly enslaved black servants, persuaded the Food Network, which had three of Dean's shows on the air, not to renew her soon-to-expire contract. She struggles to this day. Cuba Gooding Jr. For those of you keeping count, 30-plus women have come out to accuse this Academy Award winner of sexual assault. In June 2019, he was arrested on a forcible touching and sexual abuse in the third-degree charge, and in October of that year was indicted on a separate charge. As of now, Cuba Gooding Jr. has been formally charged for a trio of incidents and, earlier this year, reached a plea bargain with prosecutors that let him plead guilty, avoid trial, wipe clean his criminal record, and not rot behind bars, with lengthy counseling deemed the only fitting punishment for an upstanding man like him. Needless to say, the verdict was not to the liking of all, with one of his victims noting that the verdict felt like a betrayal, while a lawyer for a victim remarked that the whole thing was an insult to many of the accusers. However, it is not all clear for Cuba Gooding Jr., as he currently faces at least two civil lawsuits in the state Supreme Court and District Court, and his career in the entertainment industry is probably over forever. Army Hammer The world came crashing down for Army Hammer in January 2021, when an Instagram account run by a faceless entity began sharing screenshots of texts he had allegedly sent to some women. In these messages, he admitted to being a 100% cannibal. Army denied that he had sent these texts and swore up and down it was all an attack by his enemies. But many of the women he had dated or had sexual relationships with came out to tell their horrific stories. The intense scandal resulted in the social network star dropping out of or being dropped from just about every movie and series he was filming. He currently earns a living by selling timeshares. The whole cannibalism and sexual assault story had been so juicy that there's a docu-series on Discovery Plus called House of Hammer that digs into it in detail. Amber Heard We all tuned in to the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation suit in the middle of 2022. The court ruled in Johnny's favor and his ex-wife now owes him over $10 million that she does not appear to be willing to pay off. The trial was pivotal in that it swung public opinion away from Amber Heard to Johnny Depp. Her on-court antics and details of what she had done to her ex-husband that was vividly retold in court before a live audience in the hundreds of millions ensured that most of the public saw her as a lying and manipulative fraud who, out of pure spite and malice, was more than willing to ruin a good man. 
The implosion of Amber Heard's career had been one of the fallouts of the trial. She does not appear to be on a blacklist, but is thought to be unemployable, and movie roles have been almost totally dried up. Time will tell if the effect of the trial on Amber Heard and her career will be permanent or temporary. Gary Busey One December day in 1998, Gary Busey decided to go motorcycle riding without a helmet and protective gear. Busey was in an accident and split his head open, with permanent brain damage being the result. This accident, according to experts, grievously damaged Busey's mental filters and resulted in his often engaging in impulsive and improper actions. He quickly became known for his peculiar and eccentric behavior. Case in point, during a 2001 appearance on The Howard Stern Show, he went off script and tried to wrestle with Howard Stern and also and tried to lift Howard's female co-host. The event had to be cut short and he was escorted off the premises before being banned. But matters came to a head when, in August 2022, he was arrested for inappropriately touching some woman at a comic festival and charged with harassment and varied sexual offenses. If only he had worn a helmet. Robert Blake On May 4, 2001, Robert Blake took his wife out for dinner. The meal went well and the missus was sitting in the car waiting for Blake to retrieve a firearm he had forgotten at the restaurant when a person or persons unknown shot her dead. Blake was arrested in April of the next year and charged with her death. Two stuntmen then came forward to say that Blake had recruited them to kill his wife. But after a sensational trial, during which the stuntmen were revealed to be drug addicts and unreliable witnesses, in March 2005, he was found not guilty of murder. Still, a wrongful death lawsuit filed by the children of the deceased resulted in Blake being on the hook for $30 million. He responded by filing for bankruptcy, and the $30 million bill was later cut to $15 million. Blake has not worked since then. Tila Tequila Tila is a social media slash reality TV personality, actress, and model who at one time was the most popular MySpace personality with over 2 million plus followers. In December 2013, she caused outrage when she posted pro-Hitler comments on her website and did the same on Facebook while also posting a photoshopped image showing her scantily clad and armed with a pistol in front of the Auschwitz death camp. Facebook responded by removing the posted material and banning her. In August 2015, her stay on Celebrity Big Brother was cut short, and she was booted out when, on the second day, the producers of the show found out about the stuff she had previously posted on Facebook and elsewhere. In 2016, Tila made headlines by advocating for an Asian Adolf Hitler and the gassing of a Jewish man and referred to old Adolf as her boo, a man of compassion, and a good man. In November of that year, she went to a party. She took photos showing her doing the Nazi salute and posted these on Twitter and other social media, with Twitter subsequently suspending her account. Tila, to put it mildly, does not have a career anymore, and in 2016, she opened a GoFundMe to get money to furnish her apartment and pay her rent. Stephen Collins in October 2014, the New York City police decided they'd better take a close look at Stephen Collins, with their interest being piqued by the release of a recording in which a man that sounded just like him admitted to the sexual assault of an underage girl. According to TMZ, one of Collins' assault victims saw him on TV and told her husband what Collins had done to her, and the husband then told Collins' second wife. Collins then confessed to what he had done during a January 2012 therapy session. And it was a recording of this that was made public in October 2014. In December 2014, People Magazine interviewed the Seventh Heaven actor, and in that interview he admitted to having had inappropriate sexual relations with three minors over several decades. The People interview ended Collins' career right away, and he has yet to be charged with anything. But that seems to be due to the statute of limitations expiry. Click here to see actors and actresses currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. See you there.